big data, little mobile devices, social media. All of this is putting more demands on our networks, not to mention the incredible complexity. Well, the best way to keep a handle on all these changes and retain some semblance of sanity is to nail down the basics. Basics like your device inventory procedures, your maintenance tasks, your end-of-life replacements. These fundamental support processes that remain key to achieving that zen-like balance that we all crave for our organizations. Heck, maybe just a little balance on the workday, all right? Well, thankfully, this is easier than ever before with Cisco SmartNet Total Care Service, which is the evolution of our technical support service. So what is the dream? Well, I would say the dream is network automation. And I would cite five expectations that you should have for reaching that dream. Number one, enhance network visibility for better installed base management. Number two, improve risk management through centralized alerts and upgrade notifications. And three, simplified lifecycle management. Number four would be actual change management. And number five, an easier device coverage and contracts renewal process. Now to see exactly how this works, let's take a look at the portal. There are three ways to upload and maintain your device data, and the collector would be my first choice, but you can also use a third-party collector like Netformix or just do a simple file upload. But now you can view the entire network, including which devices are covered by support contracts and which have alerts, such as software updates or security warnings. Now, speaking of alerts, your second expectation is risk management. Well, you can easily review security alerts at the device level to identify potential risks as well as manage vulnerabilities. Well, Smart Data Advantage can be used to send configuration data and bug codes directly to Cisco TAC, allowing them to proactively address your specific issues using things like your configuration, your changes, your inventory, syslogs, and, of course, your alerts. Well, solid lifecycle management is how to really stay proactive, however. Keeping the network up to date can be an ongoing, perhaps uh, arduous task. But you can create heat maps to identify high-risk areas and critical network devices. You can prioritize and allocate budget for replacement or coverage renewal. You can see exactly how many of your devices are affected by software updates to make sure that they're all up to date. Identify pending end of support or end of life. Well, expectation four centers on change management. Normally that one also is quite painful. Well, now you can get rid of the spreadsheets and get a more dynamic set of controls. Run an inventory collection delta report to confirm and manage moves, adds, changes, and even deletions. Well, expectation five sounds simple enough. It's more than a checkbox. Now, I used to manage expiring device coverage with something I called my end-user warning system. All it took was, a, was an angry phone call or drop by to my cube, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, we should, we should probably get that covered. Well, no more. Cisco SmartNet Total Care lets you see which contracts are about to expire by date. Just send the uncovered inventory report to your Cisco account rep. I guarantee you they're going to help you bridge any coverage gaps. Well, that's five expectations you should have when you start working within the world of Cisco SmartNet Total Care. So how can you not just jump right in right now? now if you still want a little more detail, we do have a three-part video series that will walk you through setting up the administrator and first users, deploying the network collector, and even tweaking the whole system to ensure that you're getting all of these benefits we just mentioned. This is great stuff, so make sure that you're getting everything you can out of it. And I thank you for watching.